Well, good afternoon. How is everyone doing? I am so excited to be here with you again today on Thinking Tuesday. You know, if it's 12 o'clock at noon, it's time for Thinking Tuesday. So I look forward to meeting with you each week for another opportunity for this exercise in mind elevation. That's what we do here on Thinking Tuesday. And we don't want it to stop on Thinking Tuesday, but we speak about it on Thinking Tuesday. And my hope is that you will continue to keep these thoughts in mind as we go through the week. Uh, this is the moment and the space when we reflect on our mindset, the type of thinking that elevates us. We take time to think, to think about what we're thinking because oftentimes we don't think about what we're thinking, you know. Uh, but it's a time to check our thinking, to determine if it's operating in the service of our growth. That's what this is all about, personal growth, because we know that our thinking drive our behavior. Our thinking drives our behavior. We want to know, is it moving us forward or is it holding us back from attaining our dreams and our goals? This is what this is all about. And if it's not, then we want to encourage you to replace those negative thoughts or those stagnating thoughts, those self-limiting beliefs. Replace them with new ways of thinking, growth-producing ways of thinking. And as you know by now, our slogan is, your mind is a garden, and your thoughts are the seeds. And you, yes, you can grow flowers, or you can grow weeds. So which one would you prefer? I don't think anybody likes weeds, even though some weeds uh, can look pretty in the fields, but weeds are still weeds. <laughs> so let's grow some flowers today, as we always do on Thinking Tuesday and fertilize our minds with positive, self-affirming thoughts that elevate and create and sustain a can-do attitude, a can-do attitude, a strong, positive mindset that is able to withstand any negative, stagnating mindset. Okay, so you're on board with me? Okay, so let's go. Most of you are aware that today is Giving Tuesday. This is when we give financially. We're still in a season of gratitude. So we give to support those organizations, those service organizations from which many of us or all of us can benefit at some point. As we are grateful for what we have, yes, it is easier for us to give. And like I said, we're still in that season of gratitude, and that should be every day anyway. But I would like to put a little twist, a little twist on the concept of Giving Tuesday. When we think of Giving Tuesday, like I said, for the most part, we think about giving financially. Many great service organizations depend on those donations that we give to be able to carry out their mission, and we want to support them. It's a really, really great ask, and we should give what we can. But unfortunately, there are many who feel they cannot give financially. They're not able to give financially because of certain circumstances, whatever those are. They feel they have nothing to give. But this is where I want to pause today to let you know or to remind you that as much as the financial gift or donation is great and it's definitely helpful, it is not the only way to give. There's so many other ways to give. We all, we all have something that we can give today. So start thinking. We may not have the finances to offer, but you do 
you do have something to give. So what do you have to give? What do you have that you feel you can give? Sometimes a give is as simple. Sometimes giving is as simple as offering a smile to someone, isn't it? Even a stranger, especially when they don't expect it. You know, we have become so impersonal that we don't even acknowledge each other. We're passing and we avert our eyes or you're trying to make eye contact with someone, they avert their eyes. You smile, but they don't smile back. But smile anyway. Smile anyway. You never know what another person is going through at any given moment. So offer what you can. Your smile can offer that encouragement that they need. Especially, especially in these trying times. Where we wish that someone would give us or, or uplift us because of the challenges that we can all identify with. If we have not faced some of them personally, we know someone who has. And we all have faced challenges personally at some point. But especially in these times, we need to give what we can. And it might not always be financial. But it can start with a smile. So don't think that you have nothing to give because you do. You do. I might not know you personally, but I know that you do have something to give. So start thinking, what skill or talent do you have that you can share with someone today? Can you run an errand for someone today who cannot get out? Can you offer to help carry a package for someone? If you see them struggling with it or if they have more than they can manage. What can you do? How can you help? Can you teach someone how to read? Or can you read to someone? That's another way of giving. Spending time with someone. How many of you have computer skills? Technological skills? That you could assist someone with? Can you share a meal with someone, maybe, or look into your cupboard and take something out that you could share with someone? The examples are endless. They're endless. So Giving Tuesday does not have to resort to just financial contributions. Because when you give, it not only uh, serves the receiver, but it also serves you. And you're not necessarily doing it for selfish gain, but there's a reciprocity in giving. It comes whether you want it or not. It affirms that you have something of value that can be of value to someone else. And that is huge because many times we feel we don't have anything to give anyone. And that's never the case. By giving, it also elevates our self-confidence that we can make a difference in the life of someone else. And that is so great when we feel that we can make a difference in the life of someone else. It is a very, very profound way of affirming who we are and also valuing who we are. So when you give, you get also, even though that might not be your intention, but it's part of the law of reciprocity. As some of you might know, I have been offering a Black Friday special, which ends tonight, by the way. And I have drastically reduced the price of $400 by 75%, which is the final at the final uh, discount with the final price being $100. But in my advertisement, I've also shown the monetary value of each of the activities that take place in this 60 day accountability program for people who need an extra push to get them unstuck, to help them move towards their dreams, their goals, whatever those goals are. So someone who um, was responding to the offer 
was so surprised. They were so surprised at the reduction, the deep reduction. They said to me, Dr. Burton, how can you be offering this at such a low price given the value it carries? So they asked me, why are you doing this? Why are you offering such a low price? And I told him, I said, for me, the answer is easy. I want to give things of value to people who have value. I value people. And I believe in sharing things of value with people. I do like money like the next person. <laughs> I'm not going to say I don't. But money is not always the important thing. It's not always first and foremost. The value in what is being offered is sometimes much more important than the cost or the price of what's being offered. And that's what you see in this offer. I know that there are many out there because I've talked to a lot of people and I know that I've been in this situation also where you have a dream, you have a project, you, you have a goal and it's very difficult to get started or you start and you stop, you get stuck. There are many people who can't move towards their dreams because of fear or because they don't know how to start or because they're afraid of failure. They're afraid they're, they're, they just have a fear that they don't know how to do it. How can I do this? You know, I have this big dream, but I don't know how to start. I don't know how to get from here to there. You name it. There are a lot of reasons why people don't attain their dreams and attain their goals. I know what it's like to have mentors and people who believe in me and in my dreams. And my commitment is to help others do the same as well, to attain their dreams. Because this can be a life-changing experience, and that's the reason for this offer. So yes, it has great value, great monetary value, but I want to make it attainable for those who just want a leg up, so to speak you know, who um, really would like to achieve their dreams, but have had difficulty doing so for one reason or the other. It doesn't matter what the reason is. Here is a solution. So as I value people, I offer things that are valuable. And yes, this is a one-time offer that you won't see again. But this is my way of giving back. This is my way of giving back. So today, as you go about your day, reflect on what you have to give this Giving Tuesday. If it's money, that's fine. If you can afford it, that's fine. But if not, you still have something valuable to give to someone that's going to make a difference. Think about what that is. It's never too small. It's never too insignificant. It's never insignificant because it's significant to someone else. So think about what you have to offer. It will affirm you also who you are and that you have something of value to give. Don't sell yourself short. Because if you do that, you will miss the opportunity to think higher also. It's also a lesson in thinking higher and thinking in terms of abundance because when we feel we have nothing to give or that if we give, we're going to lose, that's not the case at all. All we're doing is trapping ourselves in that scarcity mindset. So think abundantly and you will receive abundantly beginning with self-affirmation that you are of value, offering something of value. We all have something of value to offer. And when you think abundantly, you open yourself to receiving more than you can ever imagine. But when you think scarcity, 
you remain limited in your expectations of yourself and even of others. When you begin to open your mind and think more broadly, you'll see the opportunities that they've always been there, but because your mind has been closed, you can't see them. So the opportunities are there just waiting for you. So on this Giving Tuesday, think abundance. It might be small, but it's something. And there's a lot more out there and a lot more in you than you can imagine. Someone can be helped by what you have to give. So I hope that this has encouraged you because this is my commitment to you on Thinking Tuesday to continue allowing you to think more broadly, to reflect on your thinking, how is it serving you, opening your mind to think differently. For those of you who are interested in that Black Friday offer, which I which expires tonight actually, you know, please go to my website, drcherylburton.com. Share it with your friends. You might know someone who is stuck, who is trying to get started or who is trying to start over or who has an idea that they just need some help developing. They need a thinking partner. They need some self-confidence. This is a 60-day accountability program. It starts on January 3rd. It ends on March the 3rd. And for 60 consecutive days, I will be engaging with you virtually through Zoom, through a Facebook community that we'll build. You'll have a community of like-minded peers, everyone working on their own personal project that they want to uh, they want to, to, to grow, they want to achieve, they, they have a goal, they have a dream. Whatever that is, I can't tell you what that is, but you choose, but I will be there to assist you. Now, the offer ends tonight, the Black Friday offer ends tonight, which means that the price of $100 goes away at midnight, but you can still access you can still access the, um, the program. You can still access that um, up until January uh, 1st, but it will be at the um, price of, um, the price of um, $400. <laughs> so um, do yourself a favor, give yourself a gift. Um, the program is called A New You because you want to start new for the new year, but you don't want to wait until the new year. So get unstuck. Be available to get the help that's available to you. I look forward to hearing from you. I certainly look forward to seeing you next Tuesday at noon for Thinking Tuesday. Remember, you have something to give. Don't shortchange yourself and someone is waiting for that gift, even if it's a smile. So take care, have a wonderful day, and I look forward to seeing you next Tuesday at noon. Take care. Bye-bye for now.